Hi, my name's Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. Okay, today what I'd like to talk about is how to change the host name on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS without rebooting. Now this is a, uh, a server and it's a clone of another server. And so I wanna change the host name. And as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, I have a, a list of six things we need to do. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna change the host name. So I'm just gonna cut and paste this. I'm gonna make life easy for myself. I don't wanna have to uh, type all this out. It'll take me an hour to do it. So I want to type that over here. And the command is sudo host name ctl set host name. And then you put the host name and then it's followed by an argument which has two dashes and static. So if you look at my right side here, you will notice that it says new host name. Now I'm just going to take the brackets out. And just We're going to make the, the host name new host name. Okay, so all I have to do is hit enter. Okay, it wants my password. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so let's go into the host name file and see if it's changed in there. It has, I can tell you that right now. So um, the, the command is sudo, because you wanna be the root user, by which is the editor, and it's in the etc directory, and the file is named hostname. Now all I have to do is hit enter. Yep, new hostname. Okay, so that's working, that's fine. So we're gonna hit a, a colon, look at the lower left-hand corner, a colon, and then Q for quit and hit enter. And that gets us out of that file. Now we're going to go into this, the hosts file. So that's uh, a sudo space vi, which is the editor, space forward slash etc, which is directory, forward slash hosts, which is a file. We're in that file right now. Now you notice that the host name has not been changed here. So let's hit the I for insert. We put by into insert mode. Let's delete that out. And then our host name is new host name make my life easier. I'll just cut and paste it. There we go. That's fine. Hit escape to take us out of insert mode into command mode. Hit a colon and a W for write and a Q for quit and hit enter. Okay, so now we go down here and we restart uh, the host name system. So let me copy that. Now I do have a uh, article uh, that I've written with all this information in it. It's on my blog. Uh, there will be a link down below in the description and you can go look at that article and all of this will be in there. So you won't have to type this in either. You can just cut it and paste it out of the article. Okay, so that's sudo system control restart sysmd sys hyphen host named with a D on the end, okay. So I hit enter. Okay, so let's verify that the host name has been changed. There's two ways to do that. Okay, so we're gonna type in a command call uh, named host name CTL, and then I'm gonna hit enter, and it's gonna give me a bunch of information. But we're gonna focus on is where it says static name, and there's the host name. There's no other host names in there. Um, so then it tells you a bunch of information. You can, you can read it if you want. Uh, and let's try host name, which is another command. Okay, so I'm gonna clear this. 
Okay, uh, host name, and then hit enter, and it says new host name. So it's working. So, but you notice, hit, hit the enter key a couple of times. The old host name is showing in our SSH connection. I use putty for that. Uh, it's showing as the old host name. So let's fix that. So we're going to exit out of here. Okay, and let's go find Putty again. It's over here, back here somewhere, yep. Okay, so it wants the, I'm gonna give it the correct IP address for mine. Yours may vary or be different. I'm gonna hit enter, and then I need to enter my password. It already knows my username. I'm gonna think for a minute, and voila. Let's clear this. There's a bunch of information here. You can read it. I would suggest you read all this stuff. So it says Keith at new host name. Okay, so we know that this is working. It's, it's, we tested it, so everything's working fine. Uh, and so we have had success. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment. And subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link, and you'll want to subscribe because there's some information I'm going to let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.